Hello children, today we will start a new chapter that is respiratory system. Let us first see what are the organs involved in respiratory system and one by one we will be studying about these organs. First is nose that consists of nasal cavity, after that comes pharynx, then larynx, then trachea. Trachea divides into two bronchi, then each bronchi enters two lungs forming bronchioles and then the bronchioles at last they form alveoli. First of all let us see the difference between breathing and cellular respiration. What is breathing? Breathing means what? that is the exchange of gases that is oxygen and carbon dioxide. Intake of oxygen and exhalation of carbon dioxide. Now this exchange takes place through nose as well as the exchange of gases that also takes place inside the lungs. So, the exchange of gases which are happening inside our body that is named as breathing. Now let us know what is the meaning of cellular respiration. Cellular comes from the word cell. So the respiration that takes place in the cell is known as cellular respiration. So in case of cellular respiration what happens that the glucose is broken down in the presence of oxygen to give carbon dioxide, water and energy in the form of ATP. So in a previous chapter, in the chapter cell you might have studied that mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell. Means during the time of need mitochondria release energy. Now this cell they contain glucose. When our body requires energy, the glucose breaks down in the presence of oxygen, the oxygen which we take in through inhalation and they give carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is thrown out from our body because it is not good for our body. Water and energy is stored in in the form of ATP in mitochondria. So this is there is a difference between breathing and respiration, cellular respiration. Now breathing helps to obtain the oxygen required for respiration and gives out carbon dioxide. It helps in gaseous exchange. Respiration involves in breakdown of glucose in the presence of oxygen to release water, carbon dioxide energy in the form of ATP. Now let us first see the organs which are involved in respiration. Just now I showed you the diagram of respiratory system. So first comes nostrils, nose, then nostrils, then comes nasal chamber or nasal cavity. Then the air moves to trachea which is present in the throat region. From trachea air moves to bronchi means the trachea they divide into two branches and those branches are named as bronchi. Each bronchus now this bronchi enters the lungs. Each bronchus again they branch to form primary and secondary bronchioles. Then bronchioles divide, they have a air sac at the end of the structure and those air sacs where the exchange takes place that is known as alveoli. Lungs, what are lungs? Lungs are nothing but the spongy organ which is present in the chest region of a human being and the lungs they helps in the process of respiration or exchange of gases. 
then comes rib cage what is the work of rib cage rib rib cage it protects the lungs and heart rib cage is a bony box inside which lungs and heart is protected one more structure is there that is diaphragm diaphragm is a mus muscular sheath which separates stomach and digestive system from the chest cavity then is larynx larynx are present above trachea which has vocal cords the sound which is produced by us like we speak we shout we sing that is because of the larynx presence of larynx above trachea and the last one is pharynx that is a pathway for both food and air that means the food and air pathway that merge together and that region is known as pharynx if you can see here so this is these are two nostrils through which the gas enters now the gas moves to the nasal chamber after that nasal chamber and food that meets at a point if you just follow the pointer you'll come to know this is nasal cavity then the food pipe and the wind pipe that meet at one point and this point is named as pharynx okay after that it moves down to form trachea or in common language we call it as wind pipe after that trachea enters two lungs forming bronchi these two are the two bronchi after that the bronchi they branch to form bronchioles and at the end you can find the alveoli so these are the two lungs present just below the lung you can find one diaphragm a muscular sheath uh, that is diaphragm which separates the intestine intestinal area the stomach area with the thoracic region what is the work of diaphragm we'll come to know in our next video